So there were four universities. The first university which was founded in the 5th century BC was Tatsila. The second university was Sarnath University founded in the 3rd century BC. Hello dear friends, welcome to Plutus Science. In the last two videos, we had discussed on postmodern art and cave paintings. This time, I have brought a video on learning centers in ancient India. And one such point will be uh, Tachila, Sarnath, Nalanda and Vikramchila University. So basically, we will follow the same type of method that we did in the last two videos. In this video, first of all, we will see one previous question and some questions that I have made both in objective and mains questions. Okay, let us see the questions and then uh, we will go into the video. All right. So if we see this question, if you see, you can you answer this question? This question talks that consider the following statements. Dev Pal founded Buddhist monastery at Bikram Sila, okay, in the 8th century. So this is Dev Pal founded Buddhist monastery at Bikram Sila. Then the same question is the university which became famous in the post Gupta period was Nalanda. The university which became famous in the post Gupta period was Nalanda. So the option is only one statement, two statement, both one and two and none of the above is correct. So please answer this question in the comment. Uh, let us see the other questions. We will solve this question in the last when we discuss, when we finish this topic. Okay. So other question is consider the following statements. Nalanda University was founded by a strand group. Nalanda University was founded by a strand group. Okay. Nalanda University was also patronized by Palaj. Nalanda University was destroyed by Alauddin Filji in the 13th century. So what is the option? Only A, only 2, all of the above or none of the options. Okay. So what is the answer of these questions? Please comment. Then the next question is, the Tachila University was founded in the 5th century AD. The statement 1. The statement 2 is, Tachila University was not a university town with lecture halls and residential quarters. So whether it was a residential town or not, then the next question, the next statement is that Nalanda University teachers had more autonomy than Tachila University. And the fourth statement is Tachila University had a proper syllabus and examination patterns. Okay. So the which of the options is correct in this question? Only two, only three, two, three and four, then one, three and four or none of the above. So please answer this question. Let us look at the main question. This question was asked in GS paper 1. Tachila University was one of the oldest universities in the world which were associated a number of renowned learning personalities of different disciplines here. Okay? Like one such person was Chanakya. Chanakya was a professor at Tachila University when he came to Patiputra to uh, discuss the the invasion, invasion problem with uh, the Nand dynasty ruler Dhananand and then he had, when he was insulted by Dhananand, he had taken Chandrupta Maurya from Patliputra to Tachila where he was trained and later on Chandrupta Maurya had defeated Dhananand and founded a very famous empire of India that was a modern empire, okay. So Tachila University was a very famous university in ancient India. Its strategic location caused its fame to Faladis. So this was a part of Randhar province, Randhar, the capital of the capital city of Randhar was Tachila. Okay, so its strategic locations caused its fame to Faladis. But unlike Nalanda, but unlike Nalanda, it is not considered a university in the modern sense. It is not considered a university in the modern sense. Discuss this comment. Okay, or the other questions may be. Tachila and Nalanda were great centers for learning in the ancient India. Tachila and Nalanda were the great centers for learning in ancient India, but both differed from each other. Comment. So how are we, both questions are same, both questions are same. So how are we going to approach this question will be the important point for us. Okay. So here we should adopt a different method. How we will write, we will write about 
in the introduction in the introduction we can write that learning center in ancient india learning centers of ancient india ancient india and we should name four university okay one was tachila is the earliest one tachila second was sarnath third was nalanda and the fourth was vikram sila vikram sila we will discuss all these four university and then in this these these two tachila and nalanda are the most important okay so we will write in the introduction then we will write the differences we will write the differences between tachila and nalanda which is right in the question tachila and nalanda so we can write four to five differences four to we can say four to five differences can be done and apart from writing the differences we can now conclude this question conclude the question okay so conclusion will be the main points in this answer so let us see that what is the main uh, thing that we know about these two university so if we see this we will find that tachila university was the highest learning center in, and it was the highest learning uh, point for the buddhist literature it was the capital of gandhar it is associated with chanakya also that we discussed just now and it was one of the earliest universities in the world and this is the this is a ruined image of tachila university okay and this is a assumptions taken by this one so what we say and this is a ruined uh, structure of nalanda university so about tachila what we know that tachila university was founded in the 5th century bc it was founded in the 5th century bc and it is said that it may have been founded by two important and two important people it was founded by a legendary sage called tachat so tachat had founded tachila university in the 5th century bc and it is also said that it was built by the achaemenid who were related to the dynasty of cyrus first and darius third and they were the persian invaders they invaded northwest india in the 5th century bc so this was tachila university was founded by founded by a uh, tachak or the persians persians in the 5th century bc whereas the nalanda university was founded by 1000 years after the foundation of tachila university in 427 ad and it was founded by kumar group of gupta empire this is founded by kumar group of gupta empire okay other point was is that this tachila university was destroyed by uh, the huns the hun came to india in 5th century ad around 450 around 450 they came to india at a time when kumar gupta was ruling india kumar gupta was ruling india and in the same time kumar gupta had sent his son askan gupta to tackle the problem with the hun and askan gupta was the person who defeated hun in the northwest india but later on the askan gupta died hun was settled in northwest india so this is what we know about this thing apart from this what we know so this was destroyed by hun in the 5th century ad whereas the nalanda university was destroyed by bakhtiyar khilji and who had demolished the monastery and they had he had killed the monks and burned valuable library in the 12th century there is also a story a story is that that this university this nalanda university was destroyed by uh, bakhtiyar khilji and it is said that it is assumed it is said that he was asked by a brahman who had provided a medical support to bakhtiyar khilji to destroy this monastery in ancient india why brahman will ask to destroy this monastery it is because the tachila university was a most famous university of the time in the world and this was related to buddhism okay and that is why it was challenged to the brahmanical traditions that is why it this argument may have been a valid support okay so this was so this university tachila university was destroyed in 
5th century AD. This was destroyed in the 12th century AD by Bhaktiar Khilji. Okay. Do not confuse this Bhaktiar Khilji was neither related to Alauddin Khilji. Alauddin Khilji was a different person. He was ruling in the 13th and 14th century. And this person was from 12th century. Okay. So this is what we know. Tachila University was not a university town. So it had no university town with lecture halls and residential quarters. The teachers used to board students. If the teacher want to study or live nearby the university, the teacher will board them on the basis of fee collected from these students. So the students will pay the fees and then teacher will board them. It had no university. It had, it, it had basically no residential quarters. Why Nalanda University had Lecture halls and residential quarters. Residential quarters and lecture halls were there in the Nalanda University. This is what we know from this time. If we see the other point in this, the teachers had, like teachers had, a, like the teachers were not required to have an official membership. The teachers were not required to have an official membership at Nalanda University, at Tachila University. Why? Because Permanent membership was not required. Anyone, any guest lectures can be appointed and they can be teaching. So official, so one person can teach at two places. Okay. So the official membership was not allowed, uh, not compulsory in Nalan, in Tachila University. Where was the teacher affiliation? Where the teacher affiliation was compulsory in Nalanda University as compared to the modern sense. Okay. Other point is that there was no centralized schooling or syllabus in Tachila University, whereas Nalanda University had uh, centralized syllabus and examination patterns. Okay, These people, this Tachila University had also no examination pattern or no such degrees were issued. This was a, a traditional method of teaching. Traditional method of teaching was followed in the Tachila University, whereas in case of Nalanda, they had a well-defined uh, degree, degree and examination patterns. Here, the teachers had complete autonomy over the syllabus. In Tachila University, teachers had complete autonomy over the syllabus, whereas in Nalanda University, teachers had no such autonomy. Why? Because the, there was already a well-defined syllabus. So, well-defined syllabus and structures were already there. So that is why there was no such need of autonomy of a teacher because the, the, so the, if the, there is a syllabus, like in modern time, if you go to university, the university has a well-defined syllabus. If you talk about class 10 and 12, but you find in the college, the syllabus is already there. So teacher cannot add or delete the syllabus. Syllabus is already made. So here the teachers had no autonomy. The syllabus is well-defined. All right. So this is uh, Nalanda University is compared with the modern university because they had proper exam examination pattern. What should be taught? What should be asked in the exam? How should degree should be issued? So these types of things were already well defined in Nalanda University. So we can say that Nalanda University was a university in the modern sense, but this Tachila University was a university in the traditional sense that we see. Okay, so this is the main and major differences between Nalanda and Tachila University in ancient India. We will now, we can solve that questions now, okay. So let us discuss briefly about the Bikram Shila University. This is a ruin of Bikram Shila University. It is situated at Bhagalpur district of contemporary Bihar. And this university was famous as a center of learning during the Pal dynasty. During the Pal dynasty of Bengal, this center became very famous. This university was established by the king Dhrampal, who Dhrampal had established this university. This was a center of the study of the Mahayan school of Buddhism and attracted students and scholars from all over the world and beyond. So this is about Tachila University. This university was situated in 3rd century AD, in the 3rd century AD and this is located at Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. It was founded in the 3rd century BC, sorry, it was founded in the 3rd century BCE during the time of Mauryas and it was associated with this, the study of Buddhism also. This was a major center for the dissemination of Buddhist teachings and attracted uh, towards the world. So there were four universities. The first university which was founded in the 5th century BC was Tachila. The second university was Sarnath University, founded in the 3rd century BC. 
the third university is nalanda university from the 4th century ad and the fourth university we call the bikram shila university founded in the 7th and 8th century ad so these are the four major universities we discuss in ancient india now let us solve that questions we saw in the class so what are we going to argue these questions we saw so we will write about these things and then we will write about these major differences that these are the main points which can be so these four to five points that we discuss here can be written in your answer that these are the major differences in this questions okay so apart from it what are we going to do here let us see the questions now okay so if you see the question the statement one so did you comment uh, you can check your progress now a statement one say they pal founded buddhist monastery at bigram chela so this statement will be false why because this was not devpal but it was dharampal it was it was dharampal who founded vikramshila university okay and the university which became famous in the post gupta age was nalanda so nalanda was founded by gupta and it became very famous in the post gupta period so the option will be only b will be the answer of this question only b will be the answer of this question if you see this question uh, let us see that whether you are wrong or right in this answering question a statement one is saying nalanda university was founded by askand group so this will be a false statement this will be a false statement because this was founded by kumar group this was founded by kumar group if you remember this study i will just show you so this university was founded by kumar group okay so this statement will be false for us nalanda university was also patronized by pal yes it was patronized by pal because when the pal were ruling the 7th 8th and the 9th century uh, this university became famous and in that time the only rulers who were ruling bihar in which nalanda university is situated so nalanda university was situated in bihar and bihar was a part of pal rulers in the 7th 8th and 9th 10th century ad okay so it was patronized by pal also so it was started by guptas and patronized by pal so this statement will be true the third statement nalanda university was destroyed by alauddin khilji alauddin khilji so this statement will be false you can see this comment that we had just mentioned this was destroyed by batyar khilji so this statement will be wrong so this was this was destroyed by batyar khilji batyar khilji so batyar khilji will the will be the option so what we say only a statement 2 is correct in this question only 2 that is b will be the answer of this question so how was your comment uh, did you answer all all right so let us see the other point uh there are four statements Tachila University was founded in the fifth century AD. The answer will be wrong. It was founded in the fifth century BC. It was founded in the fifth century BC. The this statement is false. Tachila University was not a university town with lecture halls and residential quarters. Yes, we discussed just now, है ना that Tachila University was not a university town with lecture halls and residential quarters. So this statement will be true. this statement will be true for us true then nalanda university teachers had more autonomy than tachila university teacher no this statement will be false because we have just discussed now that nalanda university teacher had no autonomy but tachila university teacher had autonomy because they had no proper syllabus examination patterns whereas nalanda university had already a proper examination patterns okay so this statement will be false it was a tachila university who had more autonomy than nalanda university so this university this statement this statement 3 will be false tachila university had a proper syllabus and examination pattern so this statement will also be false because it was a nalanda university which had a proper syllabus and examination pattern so the statement 1 statement 3 and 4 will be false okay 
So what will be the answer? The answer will be only 2. Okay, only 2 will be the answer. Only 2 will be the answer of this question. Only 2 will be the answer of this question. Okay, only 2. Sorry, there is a technical problem type of error here. So what we see, so through this we have solved this question. And if we see this question, so you please uh, meet this question from the topic that we discuss here. Okay, that we discuss here. So this is the way we have understood the important learning centers in ancient India and these all the learning centers are related to Buddhism. Okay. So in the next video, we will bring a different topic and we will uh, understand the important points for UPSC preparation. All right. So in your journey, we are here. You can feel free to comment anything on the uh, YouTube channel of Lotus IS. Please like, share and subscribe. If there is any issue, you can always feel free to comment. We will make uh, videos on that topic. Uh, thank you so much.